Hi, Robert. This is Jim Gillis with Win My Vote, and thanks so much for linking in. I wanted to introduce you uh, to our site, which is a free voter engagement site called winmyvote.com. And here's how it works. Voters sign up with just an email address or social media account, and they don't need any personal information or private information, just a zip code. And with that, we can create for them their own online interactive sample ballot for their upcoming elections. So think of it as sort of, you know, Facebook is everything social. We're making win my vote, everything voting or everything civic. So here as a voter, I can see all the candidates running and all the races. I can compare them side by side. I can hear directly from them and then I can pick my favorite. There's also lots of other just regular features that a voter needs. So for example, I can check on my voter registration or I can apply to vote by mail or vote absentee. I can find my polling place. I can, you know, reference important dates leading up to this election, like when early voting starts. I can also add this ballot to any one of my online calendars uh, so I can get reminders. I can print out my ballot. I can select favorites and just print out my favorites. I can share on social media. I can even create a group. So if I have a local uh, political group that we are trying to campaign for a certain proposition or a measure, I can create a group, I can endorse that uh, proposition or measure or candidate, I can make written or video arguments for it or against it, uh, and then voters can select me as a trusted source and then see the way I'm voting so that they can then have that right there on their own ballot. And as I mentioned earlier, I get to hear directly from each one of the candidates. So for example, I can click on a candidate profile. I can read a little bit about the candidate. I can see a bio. Um, I can hear directly from the candidate. Because when families are strong, America is strong. <laughs> so I'm hitting the road to earn your vote. And I wish so badly she would have said win your vote, but that's okay. Um, and I can also see issue statements down here. And then since the candidate builds their own profile and uploads these issue statements themselves, they're you know, highly dynamic. They can switch out on a daily basis. Um, and I know exactly where the candidate stands on all the issues you know, in their own words. I can also click through here, which are trusted sources. And I can see the groups and organizations and individuals that have endorsed this candidate. So for example, um, the AFL-CIO, I can click through and hear their endorsement. For the better part of a year, I've been talking about the dangerous and divisive Republican nominee for president. Today? And with that, you know, I can favorite the candidate here if I want to, or I can go back, you know, here to my list and I have heard a little bit about Gary Johnson, but don't know that much about him. I can easily, you know, click onto his profile and hear what he has to say. I'm Gary Johnson, candidate for president of the United States, and I approve this message. I'm Governor Gary Johnson. I'm Governor Bill Weld. I'm running for president. I'm running with him. As the governor of New Mexico, I vetoed wasteful spending 750 times, cut taxes 14 times, and left the state with new highways. Yeah, and let's say I say that's great. Uh, and anyway, by the way, in the real uh, candidate profiles and stuff, those won't pop up because you can uh, select a YouTube uh, feature that would stop that. Um, but I can also see, you know, these issue statements down here, which are more specific issues. And then again, I can see the, you know, groups and organizations and individuals um, that are endorsing this candidate. And let's say I decide, okay, I want to go with Gary Johnson this year. I click on favorite. When I go back to my ballot. Uh, you can see here his nameplate's turned green. He's in the first position, which makes it easy for me as a voter um, when I'm accessing this site on my cell phone to see all of my favorites. They're all going to be first, and they're all going to be in green, so that I can easily go into the polling place and you know cast a vote. I can also see how my candidate is doing. You know, the candidates can see this as well as the parties and the groups and organizations that are endorsing this candidate can all see these percentages. So, sort of like a real-time ongoing poll. And if I, you know, decide to not vote him, you know, for him, if I deselect him, um, you would see that as well. Now, this percentage you're not going to see change. We used um, some of this ballot on the national uh, student parent mock election, uh, which we had uh, almost 5 million participants. We had a little over 112,000 that were online on this ballot uh, casting their votes. And they were voting for, you know, just the state, uh, the president and the and 
state executive offices. So uh, if you were to go down you know, to say local school board here and you want to learn a little bit more about the candidate, so I can click on Ian here we can hear from him. We live across the street from an elementary school, but the district's assignment process doesn't care. Even though our schools are more segregated today than decades ago, many families have to drive across town every day. And, you know, living in San Francisco, I know that that is a major um, issue. So I've now, you know, I've learned a lot about this guy already. Obviously, I would do more stuff, but then, you know, I decide to favorite him. And you can see he moves into that first position, and then his percentage did change. So he's at 13. If I unfavorite him, and he goes back to 9. So there's only a couple of people on this demo that have done, uh, that have favorited. Um, I can also look at all of the propositions. I can click on the proposition. I can read directly, you know, the language of the proposition. I can watch a little one minute, you know, explainer video. Prop 55 in one minute, taxes for education. Four years ago, a tax on the wealthy was passed to help fund. And I can also see groups and organizations and individuals that are supporting this proposition. And sorry about that, that was from the last demo. Uh, and groups and organizations that are, you know, uh, voting no, you know, or opposing this proposition. Um, let's say if I follow Ethan Behrman and I say I want to hear what he has to say about it. I can... When does temporary mean temporary? Well, it doesn't here in California when it comes to money and taxes. We passed Proposition 30 back in 2012, which was a seven-year tax during the Great Recession, a county board of education, and a district board of education. All other states have two, state level, district level. They I say absolutely no. By the way, I have kids in public schools in California. I want the best public schools. I still say no on Prop 50. So with that, I say, okay, we're gonna go no on that. I go back to my ballot. And you can see here, it's nice and prominent here. So that I know I no longer have to wonder about how I'm gonna vote on Proposition 55. And this is, again, the real ballot. It's San Francisco, California, where we had 17 uh, state propositions and we had 26 local measures. Um, so with that, um, also on this uh, ballot, we set a little threshold of I think of like a thousand votes um, before you would, you know, see the percentages just so that it was a little bit more of an accurate count of, um, you know, more representative. Um, but anyway, we'd love to talk with you uh, about this site. We're going to be doing lots of um, mayoral and city council races coming up and a couple of the state level races. Uh, I'm going to be doing New York City. I'm going to be building that sometime this week and reaching out to a lot of their, uh, the candidates there and the groups and organizations there. Um, but would love to, you know, have you guys use this as your online poll. You know, one of the nice things about it is as a, you know, I, I get calls on, you know, for polling all the time and I just hang up and never answer. Um, but even if I did, I don't really have the information in front of me to make a good decision. Even if I tell the person, you know what, I'm going to vote no on Proposition 55, within a couple of days I have had forgotten what Proposition 55 was even about, the name of it. You know, let alone any of the details about whether I'm really going to vote on it or not. So with this, you know, site, I'm going to really be able to hear from both sides, look at the language. If I say no on here, there's an extremely high probability that I'm going to go in and I'm going to vote you know, no on Proposition 55. So I think it's a, it's a much better online poll uh, and also one uh, that, you know, gives people a tool that they're going to come back to and use. You know, again, I'm going to go, if I have to on election day and that morning, you know, if I get a reminder from when my vote that says, hey, election day is today, you know, I'm going to immediately go right to, you know, find my polling place, put my address in there. Uh, and this gives me a nice Google map, turn by turn directions of the address as well as uh, the hours uh, of the polling place. So, you know, it makes it real you know, easy for me to do that type of stuff. Um, anyway, uh, would love to talk with you. Also, I wanted to talk with you guys about um, your ownership of the URL, the Washington Post's ownership of the URL, myvote.com, um, which I would love to have. You guys have had it for, I think, you know, years and um, aren't really doing anything with it. And it just expired the other day. So I called GoDaddy and said, you know, I'd like to have it. And they said, no, they're going to put it up for auction unless the Washington Post, I think you guys have 30 days or something to claim it. Um, so you know, would love to have you guys claim it and then sell it to me or, 
you know, just claim it and sit on it. Um, I know that if it goes to auction, it's going to go up for 50 grand or something like that. And um, right now we don't have the, the money to, to pay for that just as a way, you know, of, uh, of stopping, you know, competition or people that land on that site uh, thinking that they're landing on ours. Um, anyway, uh, thanks. Sorry about the long video, um, but would love to, uh, to talk with you uh, about things uh, moving forward. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.